We now take you inside the lab where the shellfish interns are doing a very uh, important service for the shellfish lab. On Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we clean the shellfish lab by draining the tanks. This is Emily and Cody and Max. You'll see them in a moment. Right now, they're cleaning this tank. The clams have been rinsed. And uh, every tank and all the clams and oysters this year will be rinsed and cleaned. In the lab. There's Max. Good morning. Happy clam, the healthy clam. Once the screens have been cleaned, they're returned to their spot in the tank so that uh, when the pumps turn on again, everything will, uh, will run again. And then the tanks uh, will be uh, cleaned again uh, on Friday. Need another uh, hole to put in between to hold the uh, silo in place. They are made of PVC this year so that we don't leave any rust spots along the edges of the tanks. The top of the tanks so that uh, the entire lab looks nice and clean. Here's Emily wiping down the tank. One thing that's uh, kind of interesting to see is that these clams will actually move. They have a foot that comes out. And if you look closely, you'll see a couple of them. There's one that just moved. There's one that flipped over. These clams have a foot that they can use to dig in the sand or propel themselves um, across the bottom. You're looking through a microscope at this, or a, a magnifying glass to see these move right now. That's the actual size there. And this will just give you a better view of clams. We also have something that's been long anticipated and uh, well appreciated the first year that we're raising a si significant number of oysters. And uh, they're growing quite well. Uh, they're growing right alongside uh, the quahogs. And this is a, a silo that's been rinsed, and this is one that still has yet to be cleaned. You can see how dark it is. That's the growth. And uh, the filtration of the oysters. So there we've got a clean silo and one that is yet to be, to be rinsed. So this will take the, the interns uh, about two hours to do the entire. Uh. Once the lab uh, is clean, the pumps are turned back on and the tanks will fill up. The clams get their ever important phytoplankton and dissolved oxygen which they need. Then the lab will be uh, good to go for another uh, 48 hours until we go through the process again. The last final detail is just to go around and wipe down. of the tanks so that uh, the entire lab looks nice and clean. Here's Emily wiping down the tank.